In this video, we are simply going to look at how we multiply binomials that are containing sides. This is Kisembo Academy, and thanks for tuning in. Going on straight to a worked example, we are having 2 plus 3, 2 plus root 3 plus 3 into 3 plus 2 root 3. We are multiplying these two brackets. So definitely, of course, we are going to open them. So this means that um, 2 plus the square root of 3 into 3 plus 2 times the square root of 3 is going to be equal to, we are going to multiply the, bra the bracket, so it's going to be 2 times this whole bracket, then plus root 3 times this whole bracket. So our next step here is going to be 2 times this whole bracket, we are opening brackets, we are multiplying this bracket by that bracket, so it's 2 times that bracket, which is 3, plus 2 times the square root of 3, then plus root 3 into that whole bracket, which is 3 plus 2 root 3. So we go ahead and open brackets here. 2 times 3 is going to be 6. Then now this is 2 times 2 is going to give us 4 root 3. So it's going to be plus 4 root 3. Then we have here plus root 3 times 3. Root 3 times 3 is the same as 3 root 3, plus 3 root 3. Then root 3 times 2 root 3. Now definitely here it is going to become plus 2 square root of 3 times 3 is 9. Now you should take this as x. If this was algebra, it would just be like 2 times 3 is 6. Then we have this is 2 times 2x. 2 times 2x is going to give us 4x. Then here we'll have 3 times x, which is 3x. Then this would be like x times 2x. This will give us 2x squared. And definitely uh, 2x squared. So in other words, this is root 3. These numbers, these sides, are the ones that I'm taking as the unknown x. So... We continue by saying that this is going to become 6, then definitely 4 root 3 plus 3 root 3. These are having the same radical, so they are like terms, so you can add them. This is 4 plus 3. This is going to be give you 7 root 3, then plus 2 times root of, plus 2 times root of 9. Of course, root of 9 is 3, so it's 2 times 3. So you end up with uh, 6, 2 times 3 is 6, so it's going to be 6 plus this 6, 6 plus 6, which is 12 plus 7 root 3. And going on to the next, we are still going to do the same as before. This is going to become 7 outside the brackets times this whole bracket, which is 4 minus 3 times root of 5, then plus root of 5 into this whole bracket, which is 4, minus 3 times the square root of 5. Again, we are going to go ahead and open brackets. 7 times 4 is going to be 28. Then now 7 times negative 3 root 5. So the whole number 7 and 3 multiply itself and you're going to get minus 21 times root of 5. Then we have root of 5 times 4 is going to give us plus 4 root 5. Then we have root 5 times negative 3, they've definitely this negative and that positive is going to give us a negative 3 times root of, of course, 5 times 5, which is 25, and the, the answer here is 5. So this becomes 28 minus, now this is negative 21, root of 5 and root of 5 is like negative 21x plus 4x, and definitely there our answer will be minus 17 root 5, then this is minus 3 times root of 25 is 5. So this is going to become 28 minus 17 times the square root of 5. This is 3 times 5 which is minus 15. 28 minus 15 gives us 13 minus 17 times the square root of 5. And that is how, that is how we simplify that number. Okay, so now we go ahead and do this number. We open brackets. This is going to become 8 into 8 plus the square root of 3. Then minus root 3 
times the square root times that whole bracket into 8 plus root of 3. So the open brackets, 8 times 8 is 64, 8 times that is plus 8, root 3. Negative, eight, root, negative 3 times that is going to give us negative 8, root 3. The negative root 3 times positive root 3 is still going to give us negative root 3 times 3, which is 9. And of course this is going to give us, this is going to die with that, we shall remain with 64, minus square root of 9 uh, the square root of 9 is 3 and definitely 64 minus 3 leaves us with 61 now if you look at our last example here it is more like difference of two squares you remember this identity if you look at this identity it's more like this a minus b into a plus b which is a minus b into a plus b. And this a minus b into a plus b is giving us a squared minus b squared. If you look at this, a squared here is 64, which is that one, minus b squared. b squared, which is root 3 squared, which is giving us 3, which directly gave us 61. Now, this kind of concept is what is going to bring us to conjugate sides. And as we're dealing with conjugate sides, we shall be dealing with rationalizing we shall be preparing ourselves to know or to learn how to rationalize the denominator that will take place all in the next video i encourage you to subscribe for more of these videos and also share this video for example academy this is anodranga kurami